Hi, welcome back to another episode of Inside Expect, and we're uh, brimming with enthusiasm because obviously this weekend sees the kickoff, the start of the major European seasons, and the first one we're going to look at is French League One, and I've got my great friend and uh, colleague here, Richie, and uh, Richie, well, last year Marseille won it, and yeah. it was their first title in 18 years. Um, they won it quite comfortably in the, in the yes. end by six points ahead yeah. of Lyon. Um, very difficult to separate the two in the betting. I mean, we've got Lyon at 250 and Marseille at 260. Do you have, do you have a feeling on this? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a two-horse race in it. I mean, Marseille, you know, after January, they, they kicked on and, you know, spread the field and, you know, overtook Bordeaux were one of the leaders for, for a long time in yeah. the season. But Marseille kicked on, you know, they won it quite comfortably with two games to spare yes. by six points. Yes. But I think it'd be the same again, Didier Deschamps, you know, he'll take his team. You know, they'll be full of confidence. Yeah. Uh, not too many changes in the transfer market. No, they've kept all their key men at yeah, Marseille, yeah. haven't they? There hasn't been any, no coming and going. So is this going to be the start of a new sort of golden era, perhaps? Well, it will be. But I mean, I mean, they're two, we're 2.6 on Marseille. But Lyon, you know, if you finish above Lyon, you'll probably, you'll probably yeah, win the league. Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, they're 2.5. Obviously, they were second yeah. last year. Champions League semi-finalists. You know, they've got strength and depth. And Lyon have made a fairly big signing in the summer. Jimmy Brion, £6 million Euro yeah. move from Rennes. And that's yeah. uh, quite interesting. But they won seven consecutive French league titles in a row. And they've now gone two years without any sort of a trophy. I think the pressure is really on Lyon big time this year. Yeah. So whether yeah. they can cope with that pressure. Probably behind Lyon and Marseille, you would think Bordeaux. Now, we are industry top price on Bordeaux yes. at 750 To yeah. anyone, if you fancy... Bordeaux back them with us 750. Yeah. Oh, he's the return of Tigana. Yes. He, he's been out of the management game for a while. He replaces Laurent Blanc, who's gone to the, the national team. And Chamac has left, hasn't he? So yes, he's yeah, a big he's gone to attack, Arsenal. And that's a massive loss, I yeah, would say. They've yeah. still got Gourcouf and Diara, but, yeah. uh, you know. But let's say they, they led the championship for a long time. Yeah. And in the end, they collapsed to sixth place. I yes. think it was with the uncertainty of yeah. Blanc and Shamak, you know, going to leave and this kind of thing, you know, upset him a bit. But Tigana, it's a massive boost for, for Bordeaux. Of course. You know, from the yeah. early 80s, he was playing there. He won three championships yeah. with them, two cups. He won 250-odd appearances. Fantastic professional. You know, yeah. a real Absolutely. folk hero there. Yes. So whether that all, you know, spell into the outside team. Of Leo, outside of Lyon and Marseille and Bordeaux, possibly we were looking, we'd be looking at Lille. Yeah, Lille are a strong side. Uh, Auxerre, they, they've got plenty of quality. Auxerre 34.0, yes. Lille 9.0. Yes. But Auxerre, you know, they've got a lot of quality and that's quite a big price for them. Yep. You know, whether they can upset the front two, but you know, you might have a bit of fun with Auxerre, but you've got an outsider. Well, the, only, the only other one I'm looking at, I'm not saying they're good enough to win the league, they almost certainly wouldn't be a Wren at 29. And I'm not saying this simply because Salma Hayek is one of their leading fans, although that does help. It's bound to help if she can get behind the boys. But they've made some interesting signings over the summer. They've signed uh, Montano, Dalmat and Apam. And they've got key striker there, Asamoa Gyan. So oh, I yes, think yeah. Ren yeah. are going to not perhaps be quite good enough to win the league. I wouldn't stick, stick that down as no. an absolute bet. But I think you're going to see some very interesting performances yeah, from them yeah, over the yeah. course of the season. But OK, head on the line, Richie. I mean, frankly, who's going to win it, Lyon or Marseille? Well, I mean, the safer bet is Lyon. I think they've got too much depth. And, yep. uh, you know, they're always thereabouts, so you can have a shower with them. As a little outsider, you know, I'd, I'd plump for Orgs there. But, I mean, we, we're going to be taking the money on Bordeaux. Our compiler will be happy to take it, so come yes. aboard, join in the fun, and, uh, you know, we'll see what Tigana can do. So, the big kickoff in France is this weekend. We have the whole league covered totally, yeah. completely, and utterly on expect. All the markets that you've come to expect, they're all with us, and we'll have plenty of the matches also live in running. Yes. So, French league come to expect this weekend. Cheers.